So I don't know if you heard about this story, but there is a Nazi memorial in Philadelphia. What? Na National Jewish group calls for removal of Philadelphia area monument to a Nazi SS unit. Uh, this is true. A national Jewish advocacy organization is calling for the. It's just outside of Philadelphia that until recently went largely unnoticed for decades. The large stone cross, which was the subject of an Inquirer article published Sunday, was erected about 30 years ago at St. Mary's Ukrainian Catholic Cemetery in Elkins, in Elkins Park. Park in honor of the 14th Waffen Grenadier Division of the Schutzenstaffel, a Nazi military branch often referred to simply as the SS. My Israeli ex grew up in Elkins Park. I wonder if she knew, knows that. So this unit was... Uh, was formed in 1943. It was composed of volunteers and conscripts from the Nazi-occupied Ukraine who fought for Germany during World War II. Some of the Ukrainian diaspora, that means the expats, view those soldiers not as Nazi collaborators, but freedom fighters who wanted to establish Ukrainian independence <laughs> freedom by fighters. battling the Soviet wow. Union. Jewish groups and many historians don't see it that way. Well, it's <laughs> awkward, this nuance around freedom fighters suddenly. Yeah, There's yeah, lots of right. nuance. In the Ooh. statement Tuesday, the American Jewish community called for the monument to be removed. We trust our Ukrainian friends and colleagues recognize that this cannot remain. We urge them to act in the same spirit that motivated Ukrainian President Zelensky to correct those historical myths at home and remove this <laughs> memorial stone from our community. Zelensky, who's Jewish, had condemned marchers who similarly celebrated the unit during the 2021 parade in Kiev. The Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia and the regional director of the Anti-Defamation League both said last week that they had only recently learned of the monument, which is located next to an elementary school and in a community that is also home to several synagogues. It had received little publicity until this year. In May, a Ukrainian politician visited the cemetery to pose in front of the cross. Oopsie. Oh my God. <laughs> Which features the lion and crowns insignia of the SS Galizian. It gained some traction on Twitter last week. The Forward, a Jewish newspaper that had been tracking monuments to Nazi collaborators around the world, wrote an article about it. The cemetery is owned by the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception near Northern Liberties, which functions as the primary church for the Ukrainian Catholic Archiparchy. I don't know what that word is of Philadelphia. The same Veterans Association records state that the church approved the memorial, donated land for its creation and dispatched clergy to consecrate the monument in the early 1990s. Church officials dispute that. Oh, really? Do you? Hey, was that one of them churches from the 50s that did other stuff? <laughs> like... That, so a spokesperson for the uh, archiparchy, I don't know what that word is. Is that I, like the patriarchy? I know arch, worse, the, I, archiparchy? the archiparchy. I know what archdiocese is, but I don't know what an archiparchy is. Mariana, Car so the spokesperson declined to comment on the monument. She said cemetery monuments are not subject to the approval of the archiparchy, archiparchy, but did not have any information on what group paid for it. She insisted. She instead sent a document for historical context, which said the actions of the legacy of the SS continue to be debated by what, historians. What so, are they, Hamas? <laughs> uh, Marsha Bronstein, regional director of the AJC Philadelphia, Southern New Jersey, said her group would reach out to local Ukrainian groups in response to news of the monument. You can't erase atrocities against Jews and other minorities. We have to have a reckoning about history so people understand what happened. It's not appropriate to try to cover it up. Hey, breaking news, church moves to cover. They covered it. Great job, guys. They covered it. They covered it up uh, with the with, uh, particle board. But you, you can't erase history, but you can pay the guy from the ADL to say it didn't. it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> the... Uh, Given the current attention surrounding the monument, the Ukrainian Catholic Archiparchy of Philadelphia said in a Facebook post that the cross will be covered with our discussion while our discussions ensure the community in order to prevent vandalism and with the goal of conducting what? an objective dialogue with sensitivity <laughs> Wait, to all. Were they just protecting it from vandalism? So that's what they're saying. So they did this not because it's a Nazi symbol, but because they didn't want anybody to vandalize <laughs> they didn't the want Nazi spray paint swastikas on it. What are you gonna do? Spray spray exactly. 
Uh, <laughs> but he want them to face it. It's like defacing, but the opposite. So that's it. So the other side of the, uh, who cares? March is a monument. It's okay. So there, so let me bring in Jackson. Jackson, did you know about this? I was aware of the uh, monument, but I was not aware that they placed particle board up around it in an effort to try and save it from anyone who would uh, graffiti on it or something. But I mean, we all know the story. This is exactly what happened with Yaroslav Hunka in the Canadian Parliament. It's the same, uh, you know, same organization, whatever. They call them freedom fighters, just like they called Al Qaeda and ISIS rebel groups in Syria. And the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter what you call them. These guys all pledged allegiance to Hitler and they fought for the Germans in World War II. And many of them massacred. Uh, innocent uh, Jews and Polish people and Soviets and their crimes should never be forgotten. And it's just crazy that anyone's trying to act like, let alone a church, is trying to act like that there's some sort of a historical debate about the the uh, nature of their crimes. Okay, there it is. So Nazi monuments at Catholic churches, Ukrainian Catholic churches. That's the, I, Is that, there anything the Catholics can't do? My goodness. <laughs> That is, uh, that's the unit. Those, those are the ones that they inspired him to start using Zyklone B because Himmler was so disturbed yeah. by the brutal actions of that division. Yeah. What, is a, what is that, Zyklone The B? gas they used. Oh, He's yeah. like, oh, we can't just make them dig their own graves and shoot them in the head. This is horrible. We got to do something kind of humane. So that's what they gassed them? Look it up. It's I, I would History Channel just ran these stories nonstop. You know, back when we weren't pretending that it was a. Yeah. Yeah. They tell you all about it. It's called the Bullet Holocaust. Hey, come see us doing the live shows. We're going to be in Dallas, Houston, San Diego, Bloomington, Illinois, Indianapolis, Levittown, New York, Red Bank, New Jersey, Wilmington, Delaware, Covina, California, Burbank, California, and Oxnard, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you at a live show.